In this video, the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve has finally printed the 137,000 US dollar mark for the long term, but for the short term, we are seeing a major bearish signal. We will be also taking a quick look at this Bitcoin dominance update. Stay tuned to know more. So hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. And before we start, I'm also giving a free Ethereum giveaway, but remember, tomorrow is the draw for this raffle. So if you are not already guys, sali na kayo. you can find this form in the description down below and I'll be drawing the winner tomorrow. So let's dive into this video. So in our previous video, we have been expecting Bitcoin to move sideways for a while. It's because we have been very overbought from this massive pump, which we have seen earlier. So let's now look at the indicators and understand what are the next move. So right now, for the RSI level, as you can see, we are seeing a major warning, which is this increasing price with a declining RSI. And as you all know, guys, in a bearish divergence, when we are seeing this type of movement, this would pertain that it's a, trend, it's a signal for a trend reversal. So this is a major warning. If ever we broke this green line, which is the 20 moving average in the 4R, that's what I've been telling you, that this green line is very crucial for this support. If we break this, we would actually see a dump up to the 50 moving average in the 4 hour time frame. So right now, the crucial level that you should watch out for is this resistance. So Bitcoin can actually extend this movement. You can see that we can still bounce off from this 20 moving average and still continue this resistance trend line. However, if we got a strong rejection there and see lower lows for the RSI, then I believe that's a sign for a trend reversal to the downside. So this is a very crucial area now for Bitcoin. As you can also notice that we are also starting to form this somehow a rising wedge in the 4 hour time frame. So this rising wedge can also can lead to a possible dump in the short term. So if we break this, our target would actually be the bottom of the wedge, which is around the 36.6k level. And yeah, this 36.6k level is also somewhat ideal since I believe that this 36k level is also a strong support as previously that was our support in our 4 hour time frame. So right now, we can expect Bitcoin to somehow consolidate further and if we break this rising wedge, then I believe we are going to go down up until the 36.6k. And this is also a good shorting opportunity if you want to short Bitcoin. But yeah, if you are newbie in the crypto market, I suggest na mag spot wallet kayo kasi futures is for experienced traders only. So if ni pa kayo gamay sa market, I would suggest na stick to spot wallet. And if you want to get extra 10% bonus on your first transaction, you can actually use my code down below on Binance. Just use my code down below and you can get that extra 10% both in futures and spot wallet. Now we also need to take into consideration this bullish move if in case na biglang mag bull market siya. Kasi at some point when Bitcoin is in a bull market, the, the bearish patterns can, can also be a bullish pattern too. So what is the bullish scenario for this rising wedge? So the bullish scenario for this rising wedge is by getting the height of this rising wedge and then lagging natin siya sa possible point of breakout. So if this is going to be followed, then I believe we can massively see a move up to the 44.5k, which is the level that is we are going to look out for in the daily time frame. And that is also actually the same area where you can actually correlate this to our daily time frame movement as that is a strong resistance then na in expect for the long term. However, in the 4 hour time frame, I believe na we are going to see a short-term dump if this breaks down. So yeah, you need to follow this pattern closely as well as this RSI kasi dyan, tayo malalam, dyan natin malalaman kung babagsak ang ating price. So yeah, now that's Bitcoin for this short-term. You can actually see this more in the 4-hour time frame instead of the early. Since in the early, I think it's just more of noises. So let's now look into the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve. So as you all know, guys, we have been following this logarithmic growth curve for a very long time. So if you're going to look at this closely, the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve has now peaked at 137 US thousand dollars. So this means now we are about to enter the second half of the bull market phase. So if we did enter this second half, then I believe now our market cycle peak would be around between 126k and 130k if we're going to go up very fast. However, I want Bitcoin for me personally to somehow consolidate a little bit more. It's because if one thing's for sure, the more that we delay the bull run, the more na tumataas ang ating market cycle top. And you can see this evidently kasi 
every time na tumatagal yung ating movement, you can see na our market cycle top increases day by day as long as we delay the bull market movement. So this means that time is on our side. And yeah, I suggest na you should be entering more Bitcoin or dollar cost averaging at this area. Regardless of any coins, it's because, of course, the whole market is dependent on Bitcoin. And if this continues higher and longer, then I believe altcoins will also perform better together with Bitcoin. So this is the reason why you need to follow the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve in the long term. That's because you you have an understanding on how far are we going to get with this market cycle. So now let's dive into this Bitcoin dominance. So for the Bitcoin dominance, we have been following this rising wedge. And right now, we are still rising for the Bitcoin dominance. So this means that alt altcoins will perform weaker against Bitcoin still. But remember, this a certain good news because if we are about to hit this resistance, then we are going to see a short-term altcoin season. So definitely a level to watch out for for the Bitcoin dominance. And we have to wait this one out before we enter or siguro trade massively into altcoins. Pero right now, I think altcoins are now in a good position na mag-enter ka ng hodl position and then you would actually want to sell your altcoins when this Bitcoin dominance is going down. Because as mentioned in my previous video, whenever the dominance is going down, then that's where we are going to see a massive altcoin season. And you can actually see the effect of this rising dominance as if you're going to look the Axie Infinity token, we are currently declining with our price movement. It's because the dominance is increasing. So right now, Axie Infinity is still on a decline because of the rising dominance despite of Bitcoin being healthy. And with that being said, I believe our target for this is actually between the 38 US dollars up until the 53 US dollar level as that is our support and resistance area for the Axie Infinity token price. So moving forward, I think Bitcoin must somehow get a correction in order for us to sustain a good move. And yeah, I believe now we are seeing a lot of bearish indicators. However, this can still flip bullish if ever na bigla tayo mag magkaroon ng pump up to the upside. So if you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye for now.